Hey, what is up guys? It's Fontek over here with another video and this one guys I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 running iOS 10.3.3 to an iPhone 10 running the iOS 11.2 So let's see if iPhone 6 and iOS 10.3.3 was still performing good in comparison to the 10 So stay tuned. Alright guys, so first off I'm gonna boot up both devices The Apple logo appeared first on the iPhone 6, it took some time on the iPhone 10 So uh, this one is running iOS 10.3.3, where this is running iOS 11.2, the latest as of this video. This one has a, a you know, dual core processor, a 8 chip, 1.4 gigahertz, where this has hexa core processor, A11 bionic chip, 2.39 gigahertz. And I'd say that this one wasn't that slow in comparison to iPhone 10. I mean, it was like maybe eight or 10 seconds slower, maybe less. So. Let's see how they compare and test. All right, guys, to start our test, I'm gonna go for a Geekbench test here on both, just to see how they perform. Okay, launching the app was faster on the iPhone 10. As you can see, this phone has slightly less than one gig gigabyte of RAM. So uh, 989, clocked at 1.4 gigahertz Apple A8 chip, dual core processor, almost three gigs of RAM, but uh, 300 megabytes less than three gigs, and A11 Bionic chip, hexa core processor, clocked at 2.39. So there's a difference there. So let's go. And as always, guys, I'm going to just skip the test because it's going to take some time. All right, guys, there you have it. These are the scores. Big difference there. Uh, about three times higher single core score on the iPhone 10 and four times higher multi core score. So let's see how these scores actually uh, have an impact on the performance. All right, guys, so let's start here. Everything is close in the background, on both devices. And let's go. So, first up, calendar. Slightly slower on the iPhone 10, uh, I mean iOS 10, iPhone 6. Let's go for camera. Mm. Had flash on on the iPhone 6. Took some time because of the flash. And I think you saw that guys, the flash would flash even after I closed the camera. So uh, notes. Taking some time on both. About the same. So I was loading some of the iOS 11.1 11 .1 emojis here. As you can see, this is 10.3.3, so I can't really load them. Makes sense. And some aren't, so that's why they were their stocks. A bit slightly slower than the iPhone 6 settings. Almost neck and neck. I mean, iPhone 6, iOS 10 was pretty decent, I'd say. Phone app. Slightly faster than the 10. App Store. And yeah. A slightly faster again, not that much health. Yeah, I mean, iOS 10.3.3 on the iPhone 10, 6 was actually decent. So, uh, let's go for weather. And yeah, not that much slower. iTunes responding was slower than on the 6, but about the same. Home kit slightly faster on the 10. Now for the part where the iPhone 10 will outperform the 6, gaming. So, this game first. Space phone trainer both. Yeah, definitely 6, I mean 10. <laughs> so even with the ad and loading and everything and misclicking, the game was faster. This one is done too. Alright, next up. Let's go for this. Camera on both and... This one is optimized for a 10. You get to see that some games are actually optimized. And not, big, not that big of a difference actually. Um, so uh, next up, let's go for Floor is Lava. It responds faster on the 10. And it takes some time to 6, but I mean, the speed isn't that bad with the 6 on iOS 10.3.3. Okay, game's ready here. Here too. It's a good stuff there on the iPhone 6, iOS 10.3.3. Um, so next up, I'm gonna go for, I'm just gonna launch to the benchmark here. Just launch it. Okay, yeah, definitely faster on the 10. 
All right, guys. So uh, next up, uh, Temple Run Two. And it seems optimized as well for the iPhone Ten. All right, definitely, definitely faster on the Ten. Holding was way faster on the Ten. Sorry for that, guys. But six was pretty decent, I should say. All right. So uh, next up for this one here Mario run yeah definitely iPhone 10 responds immediately where this is hesitant sometimes it takes a millisecond or so to launch the app but again at the end it's not that slow yeah I mean it does take some extra time there but still a decent device on iOS 10 all right so let's just launch snapchat I think I misclicked, but yeah, okay, faster on the 10, even though the 10 was loading the app itself. And now, guys, just gonna test the RAM management here on both. So, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, iPhone 6 has 1 gigabyte of RAM, where this has 3 gigs. So, let's go to the very end and try calendar. Both kept in the background, both did a good job. Camera was there. Mm, both did the same, so not bad. All right, now for some intensive ga games or apps. Let's, let's go for App Store. Yeah, both had to refresh, actually. For a second, I thought it was just a 10. But yeah, so both had to refresh. And next up, Temperon 2. Both did well. Next up, Mario Run. And both kept in the background. That's good. I mean, for iPhone 6, it's really impressive. Okay, next up, Floor is Lava. Yeah, no, I actually, iPhone 6 had to refresh. iPhone 10 had no problem there whatsoever. And next up, this game here. Hamilton on both and okay so iPhone 6 had to refresh so when it comes to multitasking games iPhone 10 outshines the 6 well definitely it should with 3 gigs of RAM and let's go for space once you're here and all right so yeah definitely 6 had to refresh Okay, last one here, guys, into the benchmark. All right, it had to refresh. So yeah, definitely a difference there with the two extra gigs of RAM. And now, guys, I'm just gonna close everything in the background and go for an into the benchmark test. So guys, as always, I'm just gonna go for a test and speed things up. All right, guys, there you have it. These are the scores. And yeah, definitely a big improvement there in 3D. As always, iPhone 10 beat, be, beats every other I, iOS device when it comes to 3D because of the screen. And UX definitely higher. CPU, yeah, but not that much higher though. Uh, RAM, definitely double. Should be more to be honest, but yeah, I, I, iOS 11 probably is taking too much RAM. So yeah, maybe iOS 10 was more optimized. It was more optimized for one gigabyte devices all right guys there you have it that was the comparison between the uh, iphone 6 running ios 10.3.3 and iphone 10 running ios 11.2 so uh, iphone 6 did really perform be well and better than ios 11 so when it comes to iphone 6 so i think that if you have an iphone 6 on 10.3.3 just stay there guys i mean the phone is really decent battery drain the phone drained like 30 percent in the test where this lows well, about actually 20 percent or 15 so yeah, 
there is some difference there when it comes to battery but don't forget this is running iOS 11 which is really power demanding but it's an iPhone 10 should really do well alright guys hope you like the video subscribe for more content peace out